from not just the MPs, from also the public. And we'll put up a team in the ministry which is going to specifically look about these issues where they feel undue advantage has been taken or unnecessarily some unreasonable hike has happened in airfares. Whenever there is an issue like this, you can, we're going to create an online system which will take care of the grievances. You can put in your grievances and timely, with timely response, we are going to address this one and we are going to make sure that there is no undue advantage that has been taken by the passenger. And this much I want to tell the uh, uh, honourable members of this House, sir. And other than this, one important scheme that has been brought in by Honourable Prime Minister, I would like to uh, mention it to the House again, sir, which is the RCS scheme. RCS Udan scheme was a total game changer for the civil aviation market in the country. And we should all be proud by the great vision Honourable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji had to create this scheme back in 2016 itself, sir. And I, I take great pride in uh, talking about this RCS Udan scheme, which is Regional Connectivity Scheme, Uday Desh Ka Aam Nagrik and some of the success stories this has created. Now, I could see the, uh, the positivity of most of the people, members who have spoken yesterday also. They have been proudly talking about the airports in their uh, districts, airports in their constituency, how they have increased, how they want more connectivity happening, how they want the terminal capacity to increase. And I would like to take certain examples. One example is Darbanga Airport, sir. Darbanga Air City is a very historical city. When this was from the Maithili time, it was a very historic and important city. And it had one airstrip there, sir, which was running during 1950 and 1962. After 1962, there was no plane there. It was totally taken away from the civil aviation map of this country. And when RCS came into play, when Udan came into play, this was in 2020, after the airport was upgraded with spending 120 crores to the Udan scheme, the first flight from Darbanga took off in 9th, on 9th November 2020. And since then, sir, this was in 2020, the first fly, flight took off. And in the year 2022-23, this was after the COVID also, the airport handled 6 lakh passengers in the whole year, sir. And that was the kind of change the RCS has brought in to, for this Darbanga. And Jarsuguda Airport, there was no airport in Western Odisha. And there was a huge interest for all the people from Western Odisha that we should have an airport. Before 2014, before this RCS scheme, there was nothing which was addressing this issue. But once RCS was brought into place, even this Jarsiguda airport, we have spent up to 202 crores where we have created a new airport. And once that airport was brought in, 2019 first flight took off. And now that uh, terminal is handling 2 lakh passengers per year, sir, which is a great achievement for uh, Jarsiguda airport. Then we have Pitoragad airport. Kalburgi Airport, Kishangad Airport, examples are numerous, sir, and these come from all the cities, all the states, all the union territories of this country. So this was the grand vision that Narendra Modi ji has had, where we are going to take up those remote areas where there is a lot of demand for people to uh, uh, travel through airplanes. So that was when this RCS was promulgated and it was brought into effect. And we are running at the tune of five, more than 500 routes have started under RCS, sir. And more than 1.4 crore people of this country have traveled through this RCS routes. And that is something which we all should be proud of, sir. And uh, uh, other, th uh, other than that, we are going to, because of the success of this scheme, we are going to uh, uh, improve the scheme, sir, we, in the coming days, with the help of the central government, we are going to bring in RCS again, because it was a 10-year plan, and uh, now we are seeing that there are some uh, issues when the RCS is specifically for three years, because the way that scheme was done is that for three years, we are going to help a certain airport or a certain uh, route to take off. But it, it was not for a continuous time that the government is going to provide the support. We wanted to create the impetus. We wanted to create the sp push and the spark. So for three years we were supporting. But now a, speci a, a specific situation has arrived where after three years the airlines sometimes are backing away from that route. That also has been expressed by a lot of people. So we are going to address that issue. We have a process where after one year we can re-bid uh, that route and we can restart that route through RCS. And we need to extend the scheme of RCS because it has been a huge success and it has given a huge push to the civil aviation also. So definitely we are going to look into the expanding of RCS also, sir. And other than that, in the area of civil, uh, civil aviation, just like how the interest is growing on uh, for having more airports and airlines, we want to have seaplanes also. That, that has been also a brainchild for uh, Narendra Modi ji. Who, ha who wants to see the seaplane industry also grow in this country. 
and there was certain policy which was made earlier but we have taken industry feedback also on seaplane policy they have requested for change, uh, some change, uh, changes we have done those changes and very soon we are going to launch the new policy also and that is going to open up a new whole uh, uh, area of air travel sir wherever you have wherever you have uh, after we you can wherever you have these dams wherever you have these lakes wherever you have the sea connectivity you can use this seaplane connectivity to uh, connect those places again which is going to create an alternate way of traveling sir so seaplanes is something we are looking at and helicopters sir now if you look at the situation in india helicopters are very very low compared to the population or the size of the country we have a brazil city brasilia itself has more than 500 helicopters and we are looking at 250 something helicopters in the whole country so there is a great opportunity to tap into the helicopter services in this country sir so what civil aviation is doing regarding it we want to encourage manufacturing of helicopters in the country we are trying to push it now like i've said there is the state of design element which is there in the bhartiya vayu and vidyak which is going to improve the setting up of plants uh, set, uh, designing these helicopters and once we have that network within the country i am sure there is a lot of uh, uh, if the states can also support us and i would like to specifically take the uh, state of madhya pradesh to give as an example sir they are doing wonderful job they have connected their religious uh, tourism circuits with helicopters they have uh, connected medical tourism uttarakhand aims has also put in one helicopter there so that it can cater to the difficult terrain uh, uh, the un unreachable areas in that uh, state so there are lot of uses that helicopter services can provide also and we on behalf of uh, civil aviation ministry are strongly looking